Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joe from Excel by Joe. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a uh, NCAA uh, bracket uh, simulator. So uh, I've already got the uh, brackets all set up. We've got all the teams in here. And the only thing that I need are the odds. So I've got all the odds over here. Um, two to one, six to one, uh, three to one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some random functions to uh, build to build this tool. So, uh, but before we get started, uh, make sure to give this a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, subscribe to the channel, um, and turn on notifications so that you can get notified when I get new videos. And check out below for the links uh, to my uh, spreadsheet school and to my uh, lineup building tools. So um, let's get into this. If you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you the results. I ran this 10,000 times. So I'm going to show you the results of, uh, of those just to kind of see how, uh, how the teams ran for this year for the 2021 uh, brackets. So let's get going on this. Um, this is just going to run it one time, but it's going to be really quick to run it one time. I'm not going to get into running thousands of times like I did, but all... The, the whole point of this is really to just look at the odds and use a random number to pick between one and their odds, and then the no, lowest number is going to move on. So, for example, here, let's sim this game, Oklahoma against Missouri. Here are the odds to win the championship, 55 to 1 for them, 85 to 1 for them. What I'm going to do is make a formula that's going to that's going to be an if statement. It's going to check if... The random number between 1 and 55 is less than the random number between 1 and 85, then Oklahoma wins. If it's not, then Missouri is going to win. And we're just going to do that all the way through, and that's just how it's going to pick all the, the, the lineups. It's not a oh, super granular, down-to-the-player-level detail, but this is a good way to get a nice uh, simulator, which which will run pretty, pretty close, pretty good uh, simulations. Um, and if when you do this, see if you pick a number between one and fifty-five and one eighty-five, more than more times than not, the one with fifty-five is going to win, which you would expect. But the one that's uh, one to eighty-five will still get definitely a good, good um, percentage of wins. So let's start. Let's do the. Let's write the formula. This is going to be the main thing. So we're going to do if we're going to do a ran between. So this is our first one. So if we're in between 1 and, and now we got to do a VLOOKUP. So we're going to look up this team, comma, over to the odds, 1, 2, comma, 2, comma, false. So now it's picking a random number between 1 and whatever the odds are here. Then I want to do plus rand. All that's going to do is it's going to add a number, uh, some random number between zero and one in it. That's just in case we get a tie. I don't, um, I want to be able to break a tie, especially when we come to the end. Like if we have a team six to one odds or six to one, this could be a good chance to that uh, there can be a tie. So, so if this number is less than, now let's do it again. Ran between one and V lookup. Let's go back to our tournament page. This number, comma, let's go back to our odds, comma, two, comma, false. So now we're looking up the second odds, which were 85, plus rand. So you could end the parentheses, and actually, got I forgot to end do an end parentheses here because we got to make sure we get this whole ran between finished off. So we get the, the, all the correct parentheses. It might be a little tough at first, but so now we've got, if this number is less than this number, comma, then we want, so if this number is less than this, we want Oklahoma to move on. Otherwise we want Missouri. Put the end parentheses and let's see if this worked. Hopefully you got the parentheses right. There we go. Oklahoma. So it ran this number and this number, and uh, the ran between, pick the number between them. Now, if I press delete on that blank cell, it's just going to keep rerunning it. So you press and delete, 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 delete. Sometimes it stays the same, sometimes it's different. And it's going to be pretty close. I mean, there's going to be a lot of different. I mean, Oklahoma should win more, but um, 
Missouri is definitely going to win some. So then all we have to do is I'm going to press Control C to copy it, and then we want to just put it into the same spot to be level with the lower team, the lower seed. So press Control V, and then we get Gonzaga win, which we'd expect. Press Control V there, Control V there, and then we have it. So we've got now we can press delete and we've got all our teams recalculating and rerunning these games so we're just simulating games just by doing uh, that and now we can do this all the way across it, it's just going to take a little bit of um, change in the formula so I'm going to press control C or actually we have to make sure we've got um, dollar signs in front of the right spot. So we want to put dollar signs in front of these odds here. So we put a dollar in front of the A. So when we copy it, it's always going to remain the same. So now when I copy it over to here, it's going to give you an error because it's looking at different cells. So now all we have to do for each column, we, we're going to need to rework some of the, uh, the code. And then we can just copy it all the way down. I'm not going to get into copying all the way down yet. I just want to rework the code and show you how to do that. So now basically we're right here and we're looking at this team versus this team. So instead of looking at D4, we want to look at D3 and D6. So we're seeing here if D3 is less than... Let's change this D5 to a D6. And then we just got to change it here also to D3. And then D6 would win. So now if I keep pressing delete, I mean, Gonzaga is probably going to win almost all the time. So I'm not going to keep doing that. But now we can take this. And if we copy to the same location, which is right in between them, we should get the same. Now we can press delete and see. This game keeps getting simulated over, and here's the new the new team. And all we got to do that, we got to just keep doing this all the way across. So I'm going to press Control C, paste it here, and again we got NA. So here we want to look at E5 to E11. So instead of we just need to change that, and we don't have to do it everywhere because we're just going to copy it down. E5. To E11, and there we go. And we can copy this down, but it's not going to do anything because see, we don't have teams in there yet. But once we copy these games down, which these will still give errors because we don't have the games here. And now we start coming in with games because all we're doing is just running the same simulation over and over. And so that's all we'd have to do all the way across. And we got to do we ha have to do it the same way on this side, but we just need to completely change where the formulas are. So I'm going to press Control V to paste it in there. Actually, it gave an error. So let's just copy this. And so we so nothing changes, and we're going to put that whole formula in here. It's now let's see. It's looking at these teams. Let's just change the reference to look at these teams. So we want we want to look at N2 compared to N3. So instead of E5, we're looking at N2. And then instead of E11, we're looking at N3. And then we need to change it here. N2, N3. So now we're all set. So now we can copy this one all the way down. And we'll just do that the same way. We just take this, copy it to one spot in the first in each column. And then once we have that set, we can just copy it all the way down like we've been doing until the end. And then the very end is, is this championship one here. You're just going to have to manually go in and, and have it go this team against that team. So um, I'm going to start copying all these down. I'm going to kind of do a little uh, fast forward motion here during the video because you don't need to see me copying all this. It'll, it would take a little, it'll be a little boring here, but I'm going to start copying and I'll see you when I'm done uh, with my copying and pasting.
All right, and I'm done. So uh, I got the the, the um, formulas in everywhere. Just got to check, just make sure that everything's working. And now all you got to do is press delete, and you're going to keep getting results. Looks like a lot of Baylor was coming up there. Um, but, yeah, so the, I already filled out a couple, my, couple pools, for, um, some office pools um, using this. We'll see how they do. Uh, and I'm it's down below check out there'll be a link down below this video where you can just download this too if you don't want to do it um, I Also, I created um where you can run multiple simulations like I did 10,000 simulations I'm not gonna do that in this video of how to how to do it But let's just look at kind of see what happened here So I ran 10,000 simulations and let's kind of look at the win percentage here round one win percentage obviously um, the, the one seeds are the highest and the two um, nothing, nothing too big surprising. Here's the top number 10 seed, uh, 57% win. But let's see who made, um, best odds to make the sweet 16. And we got um, a couple of teams here. UConn at 31%, uh, USC is 40%, uh, Texas Tech to a number six seed, almost 50% odds to, uh, to make it. And let's just check the elite eight. How they did, and here, look at UConn, way up there, at almost 20% to make the Elite Eight. So they look like they could be a good bet. Um, Texas Tech could be a good play. USC could be nice sneaky, um, sneaky play in there. Let's see some of them that didn't fare so well here. Creighton, way down here, number five seed, barely any chance, one percent chance to make the uh, make the Sweet 16. Uh, Oklahoma, not not kind of not that high here. Let's check. Um, yeah, let's put a filter on and can't, let's just kind of look at some of the lower seed seeds here. Let's get rid of the top. Um, say the top seven seeds and let's look at for some low ones here that did good. Virginia Tech looks like the highest of uh, the low seeds to um, to take. And here. E Eastern Washington, five percent chance to win two games. I mean, that's not great, but for a fourteen seed, that can be a nice, uh, nice sneaky play there. And so that's really about it. Let's just take a quick look, maybe at the top four, see if there's anyone who did the worst, who who maybe to avoid is a bracket buster here. Arkansas, um, it's the, they have the worst odds. Probably to, it looks like to make the Sweet Sixteen. I would say avoid Arkansas. That's my my one uh, bold prediction. Maybe not even a bold prediction, but that's just my one prediction from from using the simulator. I'm not a huge follower of um, the NCA, so I, I look at more at simulations and stats like this. So that's it for the video. Hope you learned something. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up. Check out the links for uh, my video course and our lineup building tools and other sim tools. And um, that's it. If you end up using this and winning anything, uh, winning any tournaments, uh, I'd love to hear about it. So post, uh, post it below the video. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Good luck, guys.